Hi, it's Louise from WelshBunnies.com here with a very simple tutorial on how to take a picture and um, be able to print it out in 6x8 format so that you can use it in Project Life. So here I've got a picture, I'll just open it up, um, and here you can see it's a lovely picture of my eldest daughter, and this is from about a year ago, and I printed this one out in a 6x8 format and printed it off um, to use in my album. So the first thing I'll do is I'll just check, I'll, I'll right click on the picture and open with Picasso, and Picasso is the photo editing program of choice that I use. It's free and I can do lots of things with it, various different things, so I can fill it with light to make it lighter or I could even make the picture black and white or I can do all sorts of things. But for this, all I'm going to do is I'm going to take this photograph and check that it is in 6x8 or 3x4 format. So here we go, it is indeed in 6x8 format. There we go. If I wanted to you know, make it a little bit, I might just quickly just go like that, just make it a little bit more centered on my little girl. There we go. So I take my picture and I make sure that it's in six by eight format. That's the first thing to do. Now, if you don't have Picasso, it's very simple to download. You just go to picasso.google.co.uk and you can download Picasso to Windows or to Mac if you're using a Mac, um, okay. I'll just minimize that for now. So you can really easily just type Picasso into Google and it's a Google product. So it's a file um, editing, photo editing software made by Google. Um, and so it's very reliable and I, I like all the different things it has. So we've now got our picture, here it is. And it is in a six by eight format. Now. The program I'm about to use is a similar software to Photoshop, but it's a freeware product, open source, which means that you don't have to pay for it. It's made by a whole bunch of developers and it's accessible for free. It, you can download it from www.gimp.org from there. And GIMP <laughs> stands for a Graphical Image Manipulation Program. So it's quite a memorable name. And to download it, you can just click to download and then download GIMP. Uh, you can click on that. Or I found a bit of trouble with that link. So if the torrent download doesn't work, you can also follow this, this link. And that's the link I use to download it. Um, and you can download this product. Um, it's free again. It's quite complicated to use, but I don't use any of the more advanced functionality. I just use it for doing simple little things like I'm about to show you. So then I can right click on this, open with, um, oh, sorry, I don't have that listed on there. So I'll just go to my desktop. Sorry, put all these things away. I'll go to GIMP and it's GIMP2 because it's a second version of this. Now, depending on the speed of your computer, um, it may take quite a long time for it to load up the first time and possibly a little bit of a long time to load up each time um, because uh, it just depends on how fast your computer runs. Now this is what you'll you'll get. This is the general menu and th these are toolboxes and this has all the different functions. We're just going to ignore all of this stuff <laughs> for just now and all we're going to do is we're going to go file, open and I'm going to go to pictures example photo and there's the picture we want so we open this up and here we have the picture of my daughter Naomi there we go I'll just close these down because we don't need these at all so um, I've got my 6x8 photograph and I've loaded it up into GIMP now the next thing I do is I go image I roll down to guides and then new guide by percent. And I click on that. It will come up with an option box and it will ask me what direction I want the line to be in and what position. And I want this to be a horizontal line at 50%. And there we go. And now on the screen, it's 
chopping this photo in half at 50%. So the top half of this is a six by four and the bottom half of the six by four. So step one is just go image, guides, new guide, and then horizontal at 50%. The second thing we do is then image. We go to transform and we click guillotine. And what happens now is the program makes two photographs one six by four of the top half and one six by four of the bottom half. Now, the graphic image manipulation program, GIMP, can't save these things as a JPEG. So all we have to do to save them as a JPEG is go file, export as, and then we can save it as a, a PNG or we can save it as a JPEG. So if I just grab a JPEG, there we go. Save it as a JPEG. So we save that one. Oh, sorry. Dot JPG. There we are. So export this one. Export. And now this one has been saved to the same folder as the original photograph. So I can close that one down. And when it says save the changes to image before closing, it's merely saying that it hasn't been saved in GIMP, but you have saved it. You've saved it by exporting it to that folder. Um, so to do the same again on the bottom half of the photo, export as a JPEG, export, and then we can just close this down and close this one down. The main one. Now if I go back to my folder we've now got a 6x4 photo that's the top and a 6x4 photo that's the bottom and all I will do is I'll print out each of these and whichever photograph is going on the bottom or, or going in the two 3x4 pockets I can just whiz it through my trimmer and in this case I printed this one out I trimmed it in half and then I put all three photographs, the bottom one in a 6x4 and the top two in the 3x4 pockets above it. Now I'm going to line up another photograph just to very quickly show you again how it's done. So here's another picture just to quickly go through it again. So I'll open this up with Picasso. I will crop this down to a um, Three by four, and in this case, it needs to be cropped because it's not actually that size. And I'll save it. And now I can, once it's finished saving, <laughs> close down Picasso. Now to to take this six by eight size photograph and turn it into two six by fours, I open, oh sorry, I go to GIMP, file, open, and open this picture. Open this picture. Now I've got my picture, all I have to do is go image, guides, New guide by percent, horizontal at 50%, then go image, transform, guillotine. It creates two pictures from the one picture. File, export as, a JPEG, export. And then I just ignore that. File, export as a JPEG, now you can just close the whole thing down. And now if you look at, here's the original folder and here's the 6x4 photograph of the top and the 6x4 photograph of the bottom.
and then I can just print these out and in this case chop the bottom in half of this picture and stick them into my folder. So it literally just is using three steps, loading up in GIMP, image guillotine, sorry, image <laughs> guides, and then um, select a guide by percentage, horizontal 50%, and then image guillotine, and then you just save the two different photos. And that is how I print out my six by eight photographs, rather than going to say Snapfish um, and having them printed out in the six by eight photograph, which is more expensive, and then just having to chop them down anyway. So um, I hope that was simple enough. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. And uh, thanks for watching.